You would think the traffic light had been around as long as the first car, but before the early 1920s, there were no rules to the road. It was chaos with drivers changing lanes and turning without a thought as to who else might be turning in their direction. Then came a young man who gave us the three-way traffic light. This man was Garrett Morgan. Before we tell you more about the invention of the traffic light, let's take a look at the early life of Garrett Morgan. Garrett Augustus Morgan was born March 4th, 1877, in Paris, Kentucky to parents Sydney and Elizabeth Morgan. At the age of 14, in a time where there were no Playstations or TikTok, young Morgan moved to Cincinnati, Ohio in search of work. There he spent most of his teen working for a Cincinnati landowner. In those days, Many children in America had to quit school to work full time, and Morgan was no different. However, Morgan was able to hire a tutor and continue learning while working in Cincinnati. In 1985, he moved to Cleveland, Ohio, where he lived the rest of his life. This is where he began, working at a factory called Weeks and Rockridge Company. He swept floors just for $5 a week, but while he worked at the factory, Morgan learned how to fix broken sewing machines. This sparked his interest in how things worked, leading Morgan to invent the belt fastener, improving the efficiency of the sewing machine. Soon he became the company's only black machine adjuster. Morgan slowly began to develop a reputation in Cleveland for his skills at fixing things. A competitor of the Roots and Macbridge Company hired Morgan as a machinist, where he was the company's first black machinist. Morgan later opened his own sewing shop in 1907. Then a year on in 1908, Morgan becoming more conscious of the inequality of the black community helped start the Cleveland Association of Coloured Men. By this time, he had also been married to a woman by the name of Mary Hasek, who he had met at the competitor company, and they later had three sons. Things were going well for Morgan until one day when he was out with his sons, he went into a horrible accident between an automobile and a horse and carriage. At this point in time, there were so many consumer vehicles on the road sharing the same space as pedestrians, bicycles and animal drawn wagons. Accidents were no surprise. Several different traffic signaling devices were developed from 1913, but it was Morgan who came up with the idea of the T-shaped pole with three positions. Go, stop and all stop. He patented this idea in 1922, and this was granted in 1923. This required a cop to turn on the stop and go lights, and this became a success. But how did the signaling system work? Well, when all the positions were up, this meant all the traffic at the intersection would stop. When all the positions were halfway down, this meant the traffic moved slow. And when all the positions were down, depending on where the go and stop were facing, vehicles were able to move in similar fashion we see today. This saw a rise in the automobile manufacturing business. Garrett's idea began to appear in other states and other parts of the world. But things were not so good for Morgan when it came to recognition due to him being black. You see, before inventing this traffic light system, Morgan had invented what was known at the time as a smoke hood, which was a safety protection device to assist firefighters struggling from the smoke they encountered daily. As you can see, he had a passion of creating ideas to save lives. However, despite the potential of this life-saving device, Morgan had trouble selling this as it seems right fire chiefs didn't want to buy a product by a black inventor. There will be more on this in another video, but it is said that Gout was concerned his name could not be attached to the traffic system, so he sold the patent to General Electric Company for $40,000. General Electric took the patent and installed the traffic system in cities across the country. Garrett's idea was preventing millions of accidents, but his name was not associated. He refused to let that get in his way, and being an inventor at heart, he continued working on many things. Morgan would go on further to become a pillar in the black community by continuing his work for the NAACP, incorporating hair care products into growing his list of patents and starting a GA Morgan Hair Refining Company which showed hair care products. 
Today, you'll find several more of the innovations on display across America. The original wooden prototype with its traffic signal is at Smithsonian's American History Museum. The metal model can be found at Cleveland's Western Reserve Historical Society. Morgan is known as one of America's most successful African American inventors. I will have more videos on that, so subscribe now and click on the notification bell.